Okay, so let's take a look at how we can uh, approach this problem. This is a uh, normal distribution problem where we're given some data and we're asked to basically find um, the percentage of these or the probability or the, which is the percentage of, of which, um, the, which range of these masses or these values um, show up. Um, in terms of um, their distribution. So the first thing we would do here with a question like this is we're just gonna sketch a normal distribution curve. Okay, so we just, we just wanna use this as a, a visual aid to help us. So it's just where you have a single symmetrical hump in the middle. Okay, we need to kind of mark the middle of this. Okay, and the middle of this, of any distribution curve is the mean. So the mean is given by, um, the symbol, uh, the letter mu, the little u for that. Um, and we do know what the mean is because the mean is given to us here as 5.2 grams and we're also told the standard deviation of 4.2. Okay, so if we write this down here, the mean is 5.2 and the standard deviation is 0 0.4. So what does that um, tell us in terms of the curve? Well, it means that the mean, we're gonna mark it in as 5.2 grams. Okay, and then a standard deviation, so we have to remember what standard deviation means in a curve. It is, it is a percentage um, to the left and right of the mean um, that encompasses a certain value. Okay, so the first standard deviation um, around the mean, I'll just put it in here as a dashed line, okay, is an equal, equally distant, okay, and by definition, this area covers 68.3% of all possible values. And the way you calculate the, um, the next value up on, on this axis is we would add one standard deviation um, uh, plus or minus one standard deviation, which will give us the full 68%. So the first value above 5.2 um, is going to be 5.2 plus 0 0.4, which is going to give us 5.6 grams. And then we would subtract on the other side to give us 4.8 grams. So together, that is one standard deviation, which is approximately um, the width of this. Remember, it's a probability is 68.3%. Okay, so that means almost 70% of the time, any value that lies between 4.8 and 5.6, you're going to be there 70% of the time. Now, if you want to go out one more standard deviation, so this is two standard deviations. So I'm just going to add another marker out here. Okay. And it's not drawn exactly accurate, but what we would do is we would add another 0.4. So this is going to give us six grams here, and we would subtract 0.4 from 4.8, which is going to give us 4.4 grams here. Okay, and then this is a wider range of values that we're going to capture. So this is known as two standard deviations. So two standard deviations by definition captures 95.5% of all possible values. Okay, and then we can go one more, um, which almost takes us straight to the edge of the tail, but not quite. So um, we're just gonna mark it off just right about here. Okay, and that is three standard deviations. So three standard deviations away is gonna be 6.4, because we add another 0.4, and then we subtract 0.4, so it's gonna be four grams on this side. Now three standard deviations is basically, statistically one of the widest ranges you can get. Okay, so it is going to capture, and I'll just write it in on the side here, 99.7% of all values. It's not 100, because um, the tails go off to infinity, but you are essentially like 0.3% away uh, from capturing 100% um, on both sides. Okay, so that means the remaining chunk here that's left here is like 0.15% on both sides because that would make up the 0.3, okay? So we could break this down a little bit further here. Um, um, if we start at the mean, I'll just do this in a different color here in red. Um, to the left, or it's a little start to the right here, if we go one standard deviation, that is going to give us 34.13%. Okay, that's half of 68. And then on the other side, that is 34.13. 
So that's how we get that total. And then to capture 95%, we would essentially have to take 95.5 minus 68.3, okay? And then split that in half for each side. So we're going to have 13.6% on each side here. And then we would do the same thing um, for the 99.7, we would go 99.7 minus 95.5, but then divide it by two because we have two parts to it, the left and the right side. So that means that's 2.3, 2.13%. Okay, and then the remaining 0.3% because we're still making 100 for the whole curve, we'd have to split that in half. So then the, this part is gonna be 0.15% and 0.15%. Okay, so these are percentages, okay, in terms of, of what we're trying to capture. So then the first question says here, um, so what percent of the gravel has the following masses? So we wanna be greater than four grams. So four grams is right here, okay? So we wanna find out essentially the area under the curve that is greater than four grams. Okay, which is essentially everything except the little piece that we have. Um, we're only excluding the 0.15% um, that, that's missing right here. So we know that it's going to be from 4 all the way to here is going to be um, four, from 4 to 6.4 is 99.7. And then we have to take the one little bit extra, which is 0 0.5. So anything to the right of four grams is going to be the full 99.7%, plus we take that little bit extra of 0.15%. So it's gonna give you 99.87%. That's the probability of having a sample that's greater than four grams. Okay, for less than four grams, we're only gonna take the area to the left of this. So it's, it's really tiny, it's just the part that um, that's just excluded here, which is 0.15%. Okay, and then for C, we're, we're looking for values between 4.8 and 5.6 grams. So we know 4.8 is right here, and 5.6 is right here. So it's going to encompass the 34.13 plus the 34.13%, which is a total of a 68.3% probability. Okay, so to do the rest of these questions here, all you're really doing is looking at the interval and summing the percents um, that, that, that make up that interval or that range. So I'll just do one more here, we'll just do G. So less than 5.6% um, or less than 5.6 grams. So 5.6 grams is right up to the, the first standard deviation. So for this one, we would have 0 0.15%, okay, plus 2.13%, plus 13.16%, plus 34.13%. That takes us up to the mean. And then we have to go one unit over another 34.13%. And then if we sum that up, that will be all the probabilities less than um, less than 5.6. So I'll just quickly calculate that out here. So this is going to be 0 0.15 plus 2.13 plus 13.6 plus 34.13 plus 34.13 again. So this is going to give us a total of 84.14%, which is all the values to the left right up to the 5.6. Okay, so you should be able to go through each of these intervals and just kind of sum up the percentages. But the key is to uh, build yourself a standard distribution curve, um, which is one standard deviation wide, two standard deviation wides, and then three standard deviation wides, and understand what are all the percentage values um, at those um, standard um, deviation intervals. Okay, so hopefully that um, helps you out with that question.